Today's tip is all about how to best open your virtual presentation. I will tell you that what you're about to hear will be disagreed with by a lot of people. I'm okay with that. This isn't a question of right or wrong. It's a personal preference. As a speech coach, I'm always asking the question, how does my audience think? What are they thinking here? What are they feeling? And that's why I approach my openings in the way you're about to hear. Let's start with what not to do. Do not give us your bio. I'm not interested in your bio at the beginning of a presentation, yet this is how I see most people give their presentations. Even webinar experts will say, give people five, 10, 15 minutes of your background before you start. I don't agree with that. And the reason is, when I look at the modern audience member, especially in the age of COVID, often they have been sitting in meetings all day long. So they click on your meeting. And the first thing they hear is you talking about who? You, right? They don't want that. What they want to know right away is what's in this for me? How are you going to connect with me? Give me something that will make me want to listen to the rest of your presentation. So how do you open your talk? Open it with a story. Now, granted, I'm a storytelling coach, so I'm gonna lean that way, but this is the best way to grab people's attention create some interest, and create an emotional connection. As a quick example, when I start my presentation skills workshops, I open with a story about me standing on top of a desk in first grade class during nap time in 1969. I was being punished for breaking a class rule. That created such a fear of being in front of other people for me that it held me back for 25 years. It hurt me in my career as then a financial advisor but it also was a launching point for me because I had to, I was threatened with losing my job because of that fear. My presentations were so bad. That led me to Toastmasters International and the National Speakers Association. So that one little incident sparked me 25 years later, figuring out how to manage this fear and, and learn this skill to save my job. And it created a whole new career for me. So the story, create some connection with the audience because if they've ever had a bad experience or they've been afraid of speaking, they can relate. It also gives me credibility when throughout the presentation, I talk about experiences I've had at, with success on stage or on camera or helping others like my TEDx client. Just a couple of quick ideas on how not to open your presentation if you want to grab people's attention and how to start so that people want to hear more. I look forward to seeing you in tip number 32. Thank <laughs> you.